Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. We're back on this 52 Cadillac pan, which doesn't look like anything right now. It's uh, been two episodes and everybody's going, what? This, this is ridiculous. Patience. All right, so what we need to do is we've addressed these two ends. We've got the uh, area value on those up. They're not planished or anything. They look pretty bad. But what we got to do is right here, this little peak, this accent line, that's going to need extra area. So I, I got a, a lot more clay. And we're going to put this on here. And we got it marked on both sides. And I'm going to run that uh, little Delrin tool, clocking tool, right on that line there. And we'll see what that does. All right, remember we're trying to build this channel, so uh, like, share, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell, and that'll tell you every time we get a new video up. So let's see what that's doing. Okay, so we marked it right. It's hitting it right there. That's nice. This is going to have to come down all the way, but we've got to add that little bit of area in there. So we're going to continue on. it across. I don't know if it's uh, deep enough yet, but let's check this now. Let's see how that fits. Well, it's not too bad. Stand a little bit more. It's laying down pretty nice. Everything's looking good there. So I'm going to give it a little bit more. And right here, I can see that it, it's a little pocket right there. Let's see what the what that says. Well, I guess it sort of needs that little pocket. So, well, I got to fill that out right there. I got to fill that because see that's got a big gap right there. So, right there, it's going to need attention. Again, the flexible shape pattern tells me exactly what I got to do. Looks like I gotta move it over a little bit. But it's not bad. Put that on there. Alright, that's gonna pop right there. Right there is low. So pop that up. And that we can probably use the pointy camera. Blending together nicely now. I need something right here. I missed. Uh oh. We'll fix it. Metal is clay. Actually needs to be pop back a little bit. So you can see that 
feature is starting to appear nicely right in there. It's looking pretty good. I need to pop that up a little more right here and on the other end too. get a slapper. So this has this uh, uh, radius that really doesn't need to be there. It needs to be just a transition. So we want to flatten that out. Put that on the clay there. It's another great way to use a slapper. You can hit the back side of it. Take that radius out. Now, let's get our gauges in here, number three. Now we can use the gauge with the little, right there. And you see that that has to come up a little bit. And we'll have to play around with that uh, angle a little bit to get that to fit. This one is a, Really detailed little piece. So, the question is, should I cut that off right now? I need to do this return here. It's about a half inch return. So I need a half an inch of material beyond here, which I don't have marked yet. I'll have to mark that. This needs to come up just a little bit more to get it to be where it wants to be. So I can do that by pushing on the fulcrum block or hammering this out a little bit more. But let's see what the flexible shape pattern says. That's usually the, the best go-to. And does it need more? Yeah, it could stand a little more. See that little gap right there? Yeah, that could come out a little more. So let's uh, give it another round of pounding there with that caulking tool. You can see how nice this clay works to, to find stuff like this. The beater bag won't, won't do this. And these are basically just simple inexpensive tools, a simple uh, ball peen hammer and my little caulking tool, which is nothing that's great. It's just a piece of Delrin and some metal. We sell a larger one on our, in our website, but I don't have that offered this one yet. So the uh, success is. Patience, precision measurement, and persistence, staying with it. And you can see it's starting to yield that panel now. Once we do all the little cleanups and tipping the edges and everything, we're gonna have that. We're only gonna show this one being made. We're not gonna put on film the other side, but we'll, we'll show uh, welding them together and we'll show the assembly. So let's see how that did. All right, it looks like it needs to come up still a little bit more, but that could be just bending up here like this. So let's get five. 
Yeah, it's all about the same. See, these are our little index marks. We index that on there because if you don't have the index mark, or you, you can get a different value reading all the time. So you got to get that index just right. I don't like the looks of that one. Mike's got a thing going off here. It shouldn't be. Oh, it's yeah, that's incorporating the can other piece. Can I get piece. an apology on camera? <laughs> yeah, but we need to take that off. We can't. We can't uh, have that right now. That comes later. Now that's my number three. Yeah, the other one. This has it too. Uh, it doesn't have the mark. Oh, it's okay. Okay, that one's almost there. That one looks pretty good. Let me uh, just do the fulcrum block on this a little. Well, it's too much, but we got to bring that back to. Yeah, see, number three is that's reading pretty good. I think it's pretty good now. And then visually, yeah, it looks pretty good. Now we got a lot of clay on it right now. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. And then um, we need to define this this line a little bit better. We might put it in the tipping machine or tipping wheel. And then we got to uh, tip this down too. But maybe we'll we'll clean it and then lay out this flange line, this line here. So we'll do the trim. We don't need that extra material for leverage yet. So let's get a pen. I was going to clean it up. All right, so I got it all marked out now. We got the uh, clay residue off of it, washed it with lacquer thinner, had to remark it. And we have the borders, the new borders marked. And we're going to just, that's a rough cut. We're going to leave a little bit extra here. And we'll do a fine cut or a grind later on to, to right where it needs to be. So we're going to use the little cordless shear. And we're just going to cut this. And I'm going to err on the side of wider here. I just want to get all this extra material out of the way. I don't need it anymore. All right, so what we're going to do now is uh, tip this angle. It has, it's, it's heading up like this. We want to bring it down to the horizontal here. Um, so, I mean, we could possibly use, these are my parallel pliers. They were originally electrical crimp, crimping pliers, and I, I put these little uh, jaws in here that are just non-marring. So, I mean, I could take that and then just go like this here. Tweak that angle down just a little bit, and that, that'll help. It. We might still put it in the tipping wheel here. We're going to check. I think the area needs to be improved over here some. So we'll put our flexible shape pattern back on, get this blob of clay out of the way. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. So it looks like right here, I, I got to pump that up a little bit more right here. The rest of it is filled out pretty good. Just right in here. So I'll mark that. Put that on a line that's from here to here, here to here. So it looks like I'll need that clay back. Pop that up a little bit more. See if that filled in. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And I got to get the little feature where this notches down here, and I don't have it. So 
I'm going to spend a little time there. Get that in there. Another couple punch holes would have helped probably, but we can figure this out, I think. So it's got to come down and then up right there. And give that a little more definition. So it probably could come down, see the lines right here, and I'm above it a little bit, so I'm gonna move the the strike line down a little. That looks better. So it's starting to to show it's the right look there. We need to plenish this all out. And let's check our flexible shape pattern again. Put that on there. It's all fitting pretty good. This is a little uh, right here. I'm going to have to use the slapper again to define that a little nicer. I actually probably could put it right there like that. Now, uh, this is starting to go over, and I want to be able to planish this top. You see here, I can planish it nicely. So I'm going to pop that back. And I got it on a flat plane. Now I'm going to get a dolly, and uh, this can be planished on a planishing hammer, uh, but we'll take the dolly and the slapper, or maybe the dolly and a hammer. I'll get my favorite snap-on hammer and see if I can planish this out and see if I can fix this line. See, it's got all the, the uh, caulking marks in there. That's a little bubble down in the front here, so we're going to pop that back a little bit. We'll planish that out. The radius is looking pretty nice. Let's just for check that out. That's pretty close. Look at that, right on the right on the mark. Let's see what number two says. Look at that. Oh my god, it's right on the money. <laughs> number five. Number five looks really good too. That's pretty decent. And number four. Where did four run away to? There it is. Four's got this little drop down, so it's going to be a little off, I think. Yeah, all right. That drop down sending us away. So, let's see if we can planish this out. I'll get my hammer, I'll get my dolly, and we'll see if we can planish that out. So I'm watching that line. I want a really nice line there. So All 
That's shaping up pretty nice. I need another dolly to go down in there. Um, I don't have it right with me, so we'll come back to that later. I could be using the planishing hammer, but a lot of people like to see it with just basic hand tools. And again, you can do extraordinary work if you have the patience, the precision measurement, and the persistence to get it done. If we revert to taking a piece of metal and bending it up like this and another piece here and welding this with a MIG welder, you're going to end up with something that's going to need a lot of Bondo on it. This will be all planished out nice. We'll shrink and disc this and it'll be perfect. This has to be down a little bit right here, so I have to knock that down. I might have to use a little heat over here. I'm not sure yet. All right, so that roughed it out. We got to planish that a little bit. I need, need a round hammer to get that. So let me get a round hammer for that. So we got a nice round dolly here. I want to move this out a little bit. And we get that. All right. And then right here, I think probably the clay might do a better job. I might have pumped that out a little too much there, so I might have to shrink that with the torch a little. Don't know yet. So I got a hammer with a round radius to it here. We'll, we'll just lightly tap that into the clay. A lot of people will ask, where do I get this clay? I think it's a J-Mac company in Los Angeles. I think you just punch in J-Mac, M-A-C. All right, look at that. That's starting to look pretty good. It's uh, still a little funky. We gotta clean that up a little bit, but put that on here again. and find out where our deficiencies are. I have to planish and generally you have to, see we're still a little down right there, so I'm gonna pump that up a little right there still. You can see that's gonna come up. This is looking pretty good, that's all good. Good, I'm a little deficient right there. So I'll chase that one first. It's right there. Put that right in here. Let's see if that did it. Put it on our mark. Nope. Still a little hurt right in there. Yogi said, it's not over till it's over. Or what I say, it's not over until it fits the flexible shape pattern. It's not over till it's over. All right, so that has to come up right there. So let me bring that up. All right, so that's fitting nice now, right there. 
Let's uh, let's see. No, I'm still still got a little bit right there. Right there, still. It's being a bugger. This is where the Delrin is so nice. Uh, if you're doing that with a steel chisel, you'll uh, most likely break through, so you got to be very careful. The Delrin generally will not rip the metal. So it needs a little more right down in here, it looks like. Right on that corner. I'm looking at the look at the original. We compare them head to head. You can see there's a nice definition right here. So it looks like I need more right in there. Still needs a little bit more, not much. Let's go back over here. Looks like the foothills are encroaching here a little bit, so I'm gonna try to coax that back a little bit. It's the beauty of that nice radius hammer. Pop that in nice. Now let's check that one. It's right on that corner again, right there. Right there, I'm gonna pound that up right there. That's looking better. Still a little bit right there. It's a really prominent right there that needs to come out some more right there. So this whole area here, I think, has to be stretched out. So as you can see, we've made some great progress. Uh, it's getting late again, and uh, I think we're going to drop it off here. Uh, the next installment might be the next one. Maybe we'll finesse it totally on the on the next one. The first one what we did was we just started getting these pumped up a little bit and the second one we put this curve in with the wheel and now the third one we've really defined it really nicely so what we got to do now is finesse it some more in part four and then tip the edges the tipping the edges is pretty easy and uh, then after that um, after part four we might have a part five which would be perfection of the panel because we'll have a little flaw here and there and we'll have to use the shrinking disc on it and chase all the lows up and and uh, maybe have to use the torch in a few spots and we'll get it really nice so I hope you enjoyed tonight's show I think there was some uh, really good information there and you can see where that's starting to to show pretty nicely and uh, please remember to like subscribe and uh, hit that little announcement button and share. And uh, we'll continue with these uh, very informative videos. Please tell all your friends. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. And remember that metal is clay.
Thank you.